This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar here. The mail has come in. This time it's Will, a wonderful world. Uh, you know, I said I wasn't going to do any more visual novels, but they just keep pulling me back in. Pulling me back in. Um, I, uh, like, when I when I get these games, I try to do, like, little to no research on to make sure I'm kind of going in this blind. The only thing I know about this game is that, well, it's a visual novel, and it's apparently highly, I wouldn't say highly praised, but it's got highly good, review, uh, like, scores roughly and i've heard somewhere it's in the vein of phoenix Wright, and i'm not talking you know phoenix Wright is that like you know where you play as the lawyer obviously you're not playing as a lawyer from what the looks of it is but it's like because you have to solve puzzles and stuff like that over the course of the game so so it's a visual novel but it's got puzzles so instead of just playing through the game and reading stuff there is some slight logic behind it, from what i understand so at least it'll be a little bit different um skip text. Well, I'd do that if I haven't read the text before, like Renpy made visual novels or whatever. Difficulty. And I guess if it says Lunatic, there are no hints. Um, I'd rather play the game on normal, because as much as I like puzzles, I'm not super great at them. I, I can figure out certain puzzles, but I'll admit there's some that are that are easier than others, so... And I guess you can collect stuff over the course of the game, trophies and all that other stuff. So, uh, let's play this game, uh... I'll try to figure out a way to like run through this game maybe faster than like and also how, how is it that I play multiple games almost back to back that I mentioned like world in the title like will a wonderful world the world is ended or whatever I guess Japanese novels just like using the world in it and I'll try to figure out a way to like go through the dialogue maybe slightly quicker than I usually do or maybe just do one run of the game uh, unlike a, like a wonderful world or whatever in the end of the world because Really, it's because all the all the extra stuff is at the end of the game. But um, well, I'll figure it out over the course. I might just do one run of this game, and then obviously, if people want to play, they'll give them a reason to play the other. If there's, I don't know if there's multiple endings. I mean, I could be wrong. So anyway, let's play this game and see what it's all about. Uh, yes, we want to. Wait, I already have. I shouldn't have auto save data. Well, we'll just restart. Uh, let's see what the normal suitable players are not familiar with this type of game. There will be hints given in red text to help you navigate through the levels. You may change the difficulty at any time to yourself. The door to our wonderful world is now open in front of you. We hope you enjoy your adventure. Well, thank you, I guess. Suitable for players who have natural gifts in logic and deduction. As much as I love to, I would love to say I'm a Sherlock Holmes, but I'm not. There will be no longer be hints given in red text. As an advanced player, you may still change the difficulty at any time if you carry any obstacle during the game. You may also turn on hints certain levels nevertheless we have complete faith in you i wonder if there's a i almost want to turn on a lunatic because if there's a if there's a uh, trophy for it but i could always just play the game again off screen well do i really care to get 100 percent on this it depends how easy it is if it's easy i do it if it's if it takes forever or hundreds of hours to get a 100 percent trophy or achievement or whatever game you're playing on then i don't do it so yeah we'll just play it normal i don't want to stress my brain out while playing this game you know I mean, there should be. There was an urban legend. Write your troubles down on a note. Hold it in your hand at midnight and pray. Uh-oh, we're playing Death Note? God, please help me. Then God will hear your plea. And change your fate. Isn't God not supposed to do that? It was only a legend, though. That has gone viral for a brief period of time. Uh, of course, modern day. Excerpt from modern urban legends. Hmm. I see. Yeah, isn't God supposed to not do things? Was it from a uh, Futurama? You're only supposed to do just enough as if people weren't sure if you did anything at all or something like that. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, my head hurts. Where am I? What happened? You finally woke up. I've been waiting for so long. I was beginning to worry that you might never wake up, Ruff. It's talking dog. Uh, and you are... My pet, my neighbor's dog, Fluffy. Oh, psh. <laughs> I assume not all decisions are major changes or probably just dial differences, so... My neighbor's dog, Fluffy? My neighbor's dog, Fluffy? Ugh, I roll. How did I become... I end up with a loser like name like Fluffy? Besides, we don't even have a neighbor. But I still think he looks like a Fluffy. 
Wait, what do you mean by no neighbor? Have you lost your memories? Lost my memories? Yeah, you fell down the stairs yesterday. And then you passed out. You fell down the stairs and probably didn't break your neck. I thought it might. You might have hit your head. I fell? Oh, my head doesn't hurt anywhere. There's no bruising. Anyway, let's settle down a bit. How about a quick test? Now, look at my big, beautiful eyes. Well, that ain't creepy. And tell me, what is my name? Um, Fluffy? Fluffy, me my ass! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I can't really guess you did lose your memories. My name is Will. Sometimes I go by Willie. Willie? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Willie? Yes, Willie. Willie, Willie? Like, Willie Wonka? Who, do who translated this game? Willie Wonka? No, just Willie. I don't own a chocolate factory. Also, don't you know that chocolate's dangerous for dogs? Uh, oh, wait, I'm not a dog. Oh, boy, it seems worse than I thought. Listen to me carefully. I'm not a dog, and you're not a human. That doesn't sound right. We are gods. I am... G <laughs> if someone asks if you're a god, you say yes! What? Yes, that's right. We are gods. Huh. Well, maybe in, maybe in like, Final Fantasy or Dungeons and... Actually, Dungeons and Dragons, I think, does have gods like this, so never mind. How, how did you know what I was thinking just now? Aren't God, isn't God supposed to be like a, a tall old man with a white, white fluffy beard and all that? I'm a God, of course I know. As God, it's our job to change the fate of humans, ask for our help. Humans encounter all kinds of trouble in their lives, and sometimes they pray to us, hoping for miracles, as they call them. We can help them grant their wishes. Or not. It's all up to you, of course. Wait, are you head God or something like that? Didn't expect a... Japanese girl with pigtails to be God. Well, then again, I did watch uh, Dogma, so who knows. If Lance Morissette can be God, then this little girl can be too. Wait, wait, wait. Stop babbling so fast. I don't understand what you're saying at all. <coughs> Sorry. I'm not babbling. You're just too slow. You know what? Let's start with job orientation, shall we? <laughs> you have to go to school to become God? Come over here. It's time to do some work. Wait, if I'm God, why do I have to do work? Hold on. Are we starting already? I still don't have a clue what's going on. <coughs> Sorry. Throat's a little stopped up. <coughs> Besides, didn't you tell me what, that we're gods? Why do gods have to work? You know this game and me? I think we're on the same page. Don't lie to me just because I've lost my memories. I wasn't I was not lying. In any case, if we don't finish today's work, we won't have any dinner tonight. Wait, gods have to do work to get food? What? I... <coughs> this game is already starting out interesting and weird at the same time. See that small red box? That is a message from a human today. All right, let's see what he's got for yourself this time. Into this time. Okay. Read, uh, zoom, and I guess there's this page fills up a bit when you get more messages. I want to go home. Okay. My name is Lee. Uh, my name is Lee Wynn. I am senior at Yingan High School. Today I went on nearby court to play tennis for the first time since I had moved to my new place. I am very poor maintained court, so I guess hardly anyone ever uses it. The light over the tennis court is maintained by some of the residents themselves. The dim light bulbs kept making a buzzing noise. One, two, three. I had just hit all thirty balls that I had, so I picked up the end now empty basket. I went to the other side of the court and collected the balls before hitting them all again. Well, that sounds vulgar. No one else was on the tennis court. All I could hear was the sound of the balls hitting my racket and then bouncing off the ground. Do go on. The light bulb flickered twice and went out. I picked up most of the balls and left the court, walking towards a small alley. I had walked through it early on my way to court. To the court? Oh, sorry, to the court. Alleyway was also dark, no matter what the time of day was. I kept telling myself quickly in my head just to be less scared. I ran to my apartment and suddenly realized that my keys were not in my pocket. I tried to think back. I was still at the test court. Oh no. If the light hadn't suddenly gone out, I would have noticed that they were not on me. Well, this sucked. It was too late to go back to the court. Not to mention I might not be able to find the keys with the daylight. Well, get a get a light, a uh, flashlight, or a torch, or whatever, or a lamp. The desk lamp was on the manager's office. It was the radio, but no one was in there. I stood outside the window and waited for a long time. But Uncle Sun, who was supposed to be on duty tonight, never showed. Who calls himself Sun? Must have been his last name. The motion such as light up in the hallway kept turning on and off every few minutes. I was beginning to feel a little scared. A late night talk show was on. Late night with David Letterman! Those were talking about a popular urban legend that also has been making the rounds at school. It is said if you write a note to God in the middle of the night, then God would solve all of your problems for you. Jink was really into this stuff. Well, if such a God really exists, maybe he or she could help unlock the door for me. You want to use God's help to lock the door. 
No sense of urgency or complacency, or not complacency, no sense of uh, taking action for yourself. You know, break the window or something like that. Nope. God's got to answer the, open the door for you. Make go, go some come back to his office soon. Please, please. We win. Really? A God's power to open the damn door? Okay, and then we can read it again if we wanted to. Okay, profile. What's profile? Tell me. Confidential. Favorite sport? Tennis! Hell yeah. Voicemail. Oh, you can even hear the voice. It's always weird when you hear voice actresses for, like, BN novels. You're like, they put all this effort into it. It's almost... I don't know, I haven't played the... Obviously, I haven't beat the game, so I don't know if it's warranted or not. Sometimes I feel it's unnecessary. Focus? Focus. Focus? Focus. <laughs> okay. We can, we can check her out even more. Okay. Can we leave? Well, now what? Oh. Okay. Open. Wanna go home? Oh, I mean... Oh, do I just have to start? So I have to start the mission. Gotcha. I thought start was meant to just reread the thing or whatever. Whoops, my bad. Well, uh, do people always write to gods because they forget their keys? Well, not always, no. But humans are exceptionally annoying. You see a lot more random nonsense of all kinds in the future. Forget about what she asked for our help for now. Let's take a look at how we help over. Now use this pen I just gave you. We can slice this letter into several pieces. Now see, some of the pieces are black and some of them are white. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. The it's electrical chaos, some of these pieces cannot be moved. These pieces are designated in black. Meanwhile, the white pieces can be moved anywhere, with one exception. No white pieces can go past the first or the last piece. Now that you understand the limitations of moving these pieces, you may feel free to move the white pieces around. After you rearrange the white pieces, these events won't happen as you want them in the human world. If your rearrangement has altered the previous casual links with the events, naturally the ending of the letter will be changed. Well, that's about it. Telling me that I could change what has happened to the human by moving these senses around? I've heard weirder things to. Like I said, it's almost like Death Knight, except not quite. Exactly, is it straightforward? Gosh, this is so awesome! I should change her voice to be the Elena voice. Oh, uh, or what was it, the girl from This World Has Ended? Yeah, I can't. I, I'm surprised I'm even remembering that game, frankly, because half the characters are forgettable. I just remember it as Big Boops, Big Titty Dream, or whatever her name was. Can you do it too? Only the person that's holding the pen is capable of doing this. <laughs> I don't have thumbs! Go ahead, give it a try. Once you make your decision, just select OK. And we just chop it up. So the, the, so the light bulb flicked twice went out. I picked up most of the balls and left the court walking towards a small alley. I'd walked through it earlier on the way to the court. So what is... Okay, so... Reset, put down, OK. Pick up... Oh, do we just... We just change the order of it then? Like that? So I picked up my spells left the court, watch her smile, and watch and the light bulb flick twice and went out. Okay, so switching them obviously because it looks like the bottom piece highlights a bit, so it means it does change. I assume we can't really do anything. It doesn't look like I could do anything else with it, so all I'm doing is just changing the order they're in. Just for, I guess for testing purposes to see how that changes reality. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's the same combination I have in my luggage. Hallie was always very dark to begin with, and with the light gone, it became pitch black. I couldn't see my hands in front of my face. I kept having me on that something was going to happen. Scenes from a horror movie and homicide shows I'd seen flashed through my eye in my head. Since I was too scared, I turned around and picked another longer way home. The detour was a crowded and lively street. It was full of people hanging out and waiting for, in front of bars. A lot of arcades were still open. I was planning to head straight home and go to bed, but I saw the latest version of the stuffed syrup spotty through the window of an arcade. Hey, there's some text highlighted blue here. That means it's term archived in our dictionary. The human's letters often include some special terms related to their daily lives. These terms will be highlighted. Since we are gods, there's nothing that we don't understand. Therefore, whenever we count one of these strange terms in definition form, will automatically appear in our dictionary. Be either press the directional buttons to see the explanation of the specific term, or browse all the archive terms in the dictionary. And by the way, somewhere to the dictionary, we also keep a record of the profiles of everyone who has written to us. All you need to do is press the uh, triangle button on the letter selection screen to read about them. Oh, wow. Being God is so convenient. I think it would be, wouldn't it? Hmm. 
Okay, well, it's the, the term. A cartoon character, cat, uh, cat character by British artist Kelvin Clifford. It quickly became a global phenomenon because of its unique style la laser-sharp eyes. Its success uh, lifted Clifford out of poverty and made him a worldwide sensation overnight. According to Kevin, the inspiration of the character came to him during a short trip in a dream like Harry Potter. Okay, so we're good there. A fortune is not for sale. I had to get out of a new claw, uh, out of a claw machine. I'm never good at those. I spent all of my cash I had on me, but I didn't even come close. Those things are, are uh, like, clearly a... Uh, I don't know if they're different in Japan, but those games are a ripoff. I mean, if you look at the claws, they're not very strong. They're clearly weak, so you have to, like, get them in the right spot, otherwise they won't grab crap. Uh, don't... I would just just buy the thing if you can find it somewhere. Just buy it. Don't try to get it in a claw game. Because it's all about, like, making a thing you can get it. Anyway. Miss, we're about to close. Please check your belongings. Don't leave anything behind. I learned my head of disappointment. I noticed there was a bottle of some kind of drink on the counter that appeared out of nowhere. Perhaps I may have forgotten it there. I picked it up and threw it in the trash on my way out. I got home and turned on the light. All the boxes I moved in two days ago were still lying on the floor. Tomorrow I'll pack them tomorrow. I was too exhausted now. I keep changing my accent for... At least the shower felt great. It, it got into the shower, climbed into bed, and immediately fell asleep. Good night. I don't know how... how... Aha, we got a trophy for doing nothing. Rank us! Look, because of what you did now, it's the alley that has a broken light bulb instead of the tennis court. Therefore, the girl went out have left her keys at the dark tennis court. Even though it was only a tiny change, you have indeed changed her fate. Changed her fate! From just get. but from slight annoyance to everyday stuff, you know. More importantly, you have now changed on what we are seeing right now. The impact of this tiny event could last for a long time. May influence our entire life. Really? I doubt that. A change of reaction like this is called the butterfly effect in the human world. I have heard of that, actually. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie that they made off of it. We're still, we still can't be certain how big the impact of our future is going to be. But keep in mind that our power is a potentially dangerous side to it. We must never abuse it. Huh. I understand. Well, we are done with this letter. <laughs> we are done with this letter. Let's go back and see if there are more. More work. So, and then, yeah, then, then, okay. Well, there's no reason to retry. There's only one option to do it, and... <laughs> Big guy's so easy. <laughs> Don't get too excited. There's never a lot to learn. I have fetched the letters for you up until now. For now on, you should be getting your own letters. I have placed a mailbox at the bottom left corner of the screen. If the flag is up by the mailbox, it means there are new letters inside. Do you hear a sound like ding ding just now? That's the new letter notification. Whenever you hear that, it means some new letters have arrived. Who delivers the letters? Is there like a god of letter delivery? If you pressed all the players in hand, uh, if you press us all the players in hand, go check the mailbox. Got it. <laughs> the mailbox, the most dangerous of all opponents. Now it's like we got two pieces of mail. New message. The last words. And roses and a doll. More from Lee Lynn as well. Sounds like we're gonna. We helped you once, lady. I think you. I think there's like a. How many, pe how many billions of people in the world are there? Like six billion or something like that? I think I should help one of those people and not just you. But of course, the game has to have a focus on someone. Am I right? Let's see. As her uh, favorite toy is a Sir Spotty Stuffed Doll. Yeah, she just asks me, keeps asking God to help her. Focus, 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 focus. Yeah, you know, I was always surprised the game didn't have her measurements on her, on her card. Usually Japanese games are weird like that. Okay, well, let's let's read our next letter, I guess. Why not? Sometimes you might see multiple messages from two or more people at the same time. Why do we humans have so many problems? Most of them are, like, minor at best. In cases like this, you would just start to read through both messages in one breath book or start working on them. What are you doing? I try to see how long I can hold my breath. You're a god. Do you need to breathe? I don't think I could finish two letters in one breath. It's just a metaphor. Oh, what should I do to find the other letters after reading the first one? After reading one letter, you may press the L1 or R1 to open up the next letter. Whenever you need to switch between the two layers, just use the next layer button to switch back and forth. Okay, I'll start now. The apartment building I just moved into was quite old. It didn't have an elevator, so I climbed the stairs every day. As usual, it was always past midnight when I got back from tennis practice. I knew something on my door as I walked as, as soon as I walked in the fourth floor hallway. Was that a bouquet of roses? That's the, uh, the Sir Spotty toy I'd seen in the arcade a few days ago. Okay, that's kind of creepy. I had a sudden sinking feeling of exactly. I had been getting strange emails starting the day before yesterday. This was the first one. I've been watching you for a long time. Right back to me. Okay, this game got creepy fast. 
At first, I thought that maybe someone had sent in the wrong address by accident, or it could have been some random phishing email, so I didn't pay any attention to it. But the next day, I received another one. Please write back to me. I still have no idea who weird symbols mean. She must not be a... Uh, uh, what's that called? What's internet speak called? Lead speak or whatever? And whoever had... Er, whoever written these emails seemed to think they really knew each other. My cell phone suddenly buzzed in my pocket. I had a new email. I clicked on the email app with a shaking finger. Oh, is that supposed to be a heart? We shall be finally meet soon. <laughs> I couldn't understand those symbols at all, but the world is in the middle. All of a sudden, I felt a chill down, back, down my back, as if I was being watched by someone or something. But my body had frozen, and I didn't dare turn around. I looked into the reflection in the glass of the window in front of me, tried to see if there was anything behind me. There wasn't. I was just being paranoid. Still, I decided to go and spend the night to Jing's place just in case. Who's Jing? I went towards the staircase when I heard, the foot heard it. Footsteps coming upstairs closer and closer. Who could it be at this hour? Could it be... Satan? Oh, no. Actually. Now, who knows? The one who was written those emails. I needed to turn and ran back towards my apartment. But the to load, what if they broke in? He could force me into a corner and pull a chainsaw out from behind him and cut me to pieces. Okay, lady. Maybe calm down just a little bit. That seems a bit extreme. Watch too many horror movies. Oh, God, no. I stepped in the door of my neighbor, room 414. I... I choose you! <laughs> I choose you, Pikachu. Help me! No matter how I knock and nothing happened. I could not... I tried not to cry so much that I wouldn't be heard. But tears were streaming down my face. Come down, Lee Wind. The footsteps stuck to the floor and floor, and now we're moving towards me. There was only one more corner between us. It was too late for me to hide in my apartment now. I held my tennis racket up. I swung it down as hard as I could, my eyes closed when the person arrived at the co corner. By the way, my controller vibrated when that, so I guess this game has, like, controller interaction, too, or whatever. At first, I hit to wobble dip at the stairs. It was Uncle Sun. He was just just going around the building quickly and picking up the trash. Uncle Sun was lying on the ground. He was not to move at all. Did you just kill him? Oh my god, what day have I died not? God, please help me, please, please. Lee well, went, okay, maybe that's a bit more of an important reason to, uh, to, uh, ask for God's help. You accidentally killed your, the uncle's son. Holy crap. All right, let's read the other letter. Uh, the last words. It had been ten years. I had been cursed since the incident. Every time I picked up my paintbrush, my mind would start tormenting me, wreaking habit. For ten years, I hadn't been able to paint anything. I was suffering, and I deserved it. By now, I'd spent all my savings, yet I was still alive. A friend was kind enough to set me up with a teaching job at high school, teaching the art class. I would start tomorrow. It wasn't particularly well paid, but for someone who had been living without power, water, or heat in his apartment, it was like a burning pit of charcoal in the middle of a blizzard. I really was grateful to my friend. Ironically, I just brought myself some charcoal earlier today. Though I might be able to leave something worthwhile to the world as a painter before I die. Yes, I wanted to make one of those final masterpieces. I set up my easel. One hour passed. Two hours. Three hours. I had to put down my brush, the brush. Even if I had managed to paint something, how would it be different from all the other bar garbage in this room? A tormented artist indeed, I see. It would just be another piece of soulless trash. Just like me. Oh, don't, don't get so down on yourself, dude. I mean... Probably a nice guy, you know, you go out, like to go out parties. All trash. I pour the coal into the basin and put it on the bedroom floor. I put on my best clothes. I carefully made my bed and lit the coals. I tried the door now, I realized the door was not locked. I chuckled. And that was clear it wasn't me. I double checked all the doors and windows, making sure that they had been locked and sealed. I couldn't take any chances. I lay down on my bed and all I could see was her face. Here I come, honey. Sorry for making you wait so long. God, I am ready. Please take me away. When Zaorin. These names seem more, instead of Japanese, they seem Chinese to me. I wonder if the company that made this is is Chinese. Hmm. I mean, nothing wrong with that. It's just something I'm kind of noticing. All right, sounds like we got a guy who's basically a tortured artist who's about to commit suicide by burying his place in the ground. Good. So you basically put everyone else in danger. Way to go there, dude. And then the lady who thinks she's about to get stalked and then kills an innocent old man. Great. All right. But there's more than one letter. The white pieces can be moved left to right, as well as addition to up and down. Since it will impact the fate of both people, you'll be careful making your decisions. Okay, so... So, oh, we can put it in between. So, uh... 
Oh, so it's not lost so she oh so they're in the same apartment building or whatever, so she'll end up going inside instead by switching it, so you can tell we're till, still in the tutorial because all of these are pretty straightforward, but later on I assume it gets more complicated. Because I've heard this has some logic puzzles in it, so. Okay, anyway. Five, four, three, two, one, go! God, I am ready. Please take me away. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Exclamation mark, question mark. What was that noise? I struggled to sit in my bed. My head felt like it was going to explode. Damn it. Just a little longer. God, what are you taking me? Whoever I made that noise, be it a burglar or a utility guy, I would never forgive them. Ex excuse me, sorry for the intrusion. I sneaked into my neighbor's apartment. It was completely dark inside and smelled funny. It was so hard to breathe in this apartment. I wonder who'd live in such a place. I shut the door right behind me. I accidentally knocked over some drawers that were sheltered next to the door. They made some very loud noises. Still, nobody responded. I suppose that there really wasn't anyone at home. I looked out for the people while I held my breath. A thin, old, humpbacked man walked by the door with empty plastic bottles in his hands. It was just Uncle Sun, the manager. Phew. Rank ass for doing nothing. Well, the game is being nice to me for now. This one's easy, too. Hmm. As Shakespeare once said, security is, to, is mortals. She fast enemy. Which could mean that Alpha Continents is man's greatest enemy. Shakes? What? Who? Shakespeare. He's one of the greatest writers in human history. I don't know about that, but isn't isn't there history wise it might be that he didn't write all of his plays or he had ghost writers or something like that? I I've, don't take that as like word of fact, folk. I would look it up. I've just heard some interesting things, that's all. Overconfidence man's greatest enemy? Well but I am no man. And you're God, so Okay, then do you remember this person's name? Uh I haven't once hit my tongue. <laughs> you should pay more attention. His name is Wen Zhaorin. Okay, I have a bad memory. I get your point. It's only because it, it's only easy because you're just getting started. You will soon see soon enough. So yeah, basically she didn't end up killing the man and ended up popping in that guy's apartment, so hooray, rank us. We did it. What does a yellow star mean? When you see a yellow star, that means you have locked all the possible endings of the particular event. Oh, should I try to collect all the yellow stars? Oh no, that wouldn't be necessary. Our job is just to help the humans with their troubles. And no matter how many times we try or how many endings we unlock, for the humans there's only one ending to each story that they will ever know. So it doesn't really matter whether they're not all, all the endings. But I am a <laughs> I am a completionist, damn it. No. In that case, what's the star there for? Well, I know you're asking me, but to be honest, I don't really know. It's because the game wants us to see how many uh, well, variations on the ending you can have, I guess. Alright, time to, time to open the mail. New message. Farewell. Oh yeah, I didn't even check it. But we don't even know what he looks like. Vita Brevis Ars Longa? Focus, 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 focus! Well, it seems like uh, it seems like we have an interesting story ahead of us. Apparently, we are playing two gods, are affecting human humankind with our little hands of of dangers. We swap around notes and letters and stuff like that. Will the job become easier throughout the rest of the game, or will we be put to the test as uh, we alter the course of human history? Find out next time in the next episode of Will: A Wonderful World. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>